Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at Empty Pockets. This is an application that helps you keep track of your money and your savings. It allows you to set up multiple profiles so that way you can keep track of uh, maybe some of your work expenses and your personal expenses or perhaps even different people um, if you wanted to set up multiple profiles. So I set up a new profile just by simply tapping in Add New Profile and typing in my name. So we'll just type in demo and hit return and then hit plus and you can see it went ahead and added a new profile. To delete that profile all I have to do is do that. So let's go and take a look at the profile that I'd already created. Now as you can see in here I've got some pay. It looks like I got a paycheck for $1200. I've got $550 in bills, $12 in other, and $0 in recreational. So it shows what my total savings will be. Uh, I have some buttons here to uh, Facebook, Twitter, email. Um, if I hit this power looking button, it takes me back to the profile. And then if I tap on our little empty pockets character, it takes me to their website. Um, of course, when I'm at the intro here, we have these four buttons down below and those all take us to different portions of their website depending on what we want to learn about. Either our story, user guide, the system, or just their homepage of their website. All right, so we have our calendar, which we can go and take a look at, and it shows different things that we have uh, showing up on our calendar, um, different uh, bills and stuff that are due, so we can see those and be mindful of them. If we go into transactions, we can enter in transactions, uh, one-time and recurring transactions. So if I wanted to go into recurring and enter in perhaps maybe my cell phone bill, let's say my cell phone is due on the 28th of each month, so I'll set it to month, um, I'll set after every, I'll just leave that at one. Um, I could choose paid to no, so that way, well, I'll choose it to paid yes, because I automatically pay them. It's just an auto withdraw thing, so I don't have to worry about it. And on average, every month it's uh, $120. Oops, that's the title. So let's put cell phone in here. And then over here we'll put $120. All right, so if everything looks right here, maybe we'd go into bills and put our bill in here in that category, and then we'd hit save. And so now I have rent and cell phone, really the only necessities to life. So those are in my recurring, and then I have my one time here as well. So if I had a payday take place, I could go ahead and tap here. I could choose the date for my payday, perhaps. Let's go back a little bit and add a payday in. So I'll choose pay. I'll put in... Uh, uh, just some text here and then I'll put in paid let's say I got paid $500 there and I can hit save so now if I go back to my profile you can see uh, that those numbers have indeed changed alright so now I've got my payments I've got lunch that I entered for today I can go and enter in one-time charges for anything um, so whether it's I got paid, it's a bill, or it's recreation, or other. So however you want to organize those. If I went uh, to see a movie, perhaps I uh, went and saw a movie, and I put that in there, $20. And yes, it was paid. Choose the date, which we'll just go ahead and choose today's date, and hit save. So, and you can go back into any of these as well. Looks like the date was off a little bit on these. It seems to revert your date back. Uh, so you might want to check and make sure that your date is correct when you're entering these items. Um, so now, as you can see, I've got uh, everything is updated. Uh, looks like I've got my savings. It lets me know what my total savings is after paying for all those bills and everything else. So it looks like I, uh, I'm a little bit in the hole here. So I'm going to need to, of course, go and earn some more money. Um, so being able to enter those recurring bills and those one-time bills, seeing those bills, those recurring ones on your uh, calendar, uh, we got rent, cell phone, and then even that movie, and you can see that the colors start to change uh, to represent uh, what items I have showing up, like a paycheck um, and different stuff like that. So I can kind of get an overview and I could tap and go view by month as well if I wanted to see what my months look like. As you start to enter more information into this app, it's going to become more and more useful. 
uh, because of course if you're trying to decide oh do I have enough money to you know go and grab that uh, that new iPhone that's coming out or whatever it is you can of course come in here and look and see what your savings looks like and it's going to help you keep money in your pocket because you may make uh, be able to make that decision uh, a little more informed because you're looking at your bills right in front of you and you're seeing all your responsibilities and trying to decide whether or not you should go and add in that additional expense so uh, you'll also notice we have a search box up here so we can search through our transactions because after a while you're going to have a lengthy list of uh, transactions that are going to show up in here. Um, as you can see, it's really quick to enter this stuff in, so it makes it easy for you to adapt this to your lifestyle, to go ahead and just enter those transactions in, not have to spend a ton of time uh, messing with all this, which is probably one of the main reasons many of us don't organize our stuff in the first place, is the amount of time that it takes. So definitely a cool application and something that uh, will make your life a little bit easier. Um, check out Empty Pockets. Of course, it's uh, preventing you from having empty pockets by keeping track of your stuff. You can get it for your iOS device today in the App Store.